What's going on guys? You may have heard of a VA loan and how you can put 0% down on a property. Sad news guys, you can't use a VA loan for an investment property. Wrong. If you're wanting to know how you can use a VA loan for investment properties, you're definitely going to want to watch this video until the end. If you're new here to the channel, my name is James Holloway and I'm primarily a real estate investor. My mission here on YouTube is to help you achieve your financial freedom through real estate investing and other money making strategies. So if you like those things, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and turn on bell notifications. How do you do that? You just click the little bell and it'll notify you every single time I upload a new YouTube video. Really quick, if you don't know what a VA loan is, there's gonna be a video popping up right above my head. I just made a video on explaining in depth what a VA loan really is. So go check out that video. Again, it's right here. 0% down on a property is music to everyone's ears. But wait, there's kind of a catch. According to the VA, you have to live in that property as a primary residence for at least a year or have the intention to live in it for a year. This isn't really a horrible con. It's a con nonetheless, but it's not that bad. You might be thinking right now, you know, well, can't I just move out after a year and just then use it as a rental property? You're kind of catching on now. You can absolutely live in the property for a year. You fulfill the VA's owner occupancy rule, then move out, sell it, or use it as a rental property. There are two things that I advise you to do before you buy a property on a VA loan. One is know your numbers and make sure whenever you move out, you can rent it out for a certain amount so you can make money whenever you move out of the property in a year. And to do that, you need to know, you know what rents are going for in the area where the property you're going to be buying. So if you want to know what rents are for that specific area, there's gonna be a link down below to rentometer.com. It's honestly the best what the best software that I know out there that can collect rents and give it to you accurately. The second piece of advice is you buy a property and it has equity in it or it has the potential to have equity in it, meaning that you're gonna put some sweat sweat equity in it. Again, meaning if you buy a property that needs some work and you do all the work yourself, you're building up equity because you're saving on the labor, right? But you're still having to pay for the materials, but the equity that you're building in that property is far greater. If you want to know if a property has equity in it or a p the potential to have equity in it, just contact the real estate agent that you're using to buy the property and ask them to run a CMA or comp. CMA stands for uh, comparable market analysis. So basically, they're just going to take that property that you're going to buy, compare it to all the other properties. Basically, it's going to be the same uh, bedroom, bathroom, around the same square footage, same year it was built, two story, one story, etc. If it has a big backyard, it has a little backyard, you know, all these little things that go into it, um, they're going to do this for you and they're going to be like, okay, well, based off of this, this purchase price that you're wanting to buy a property for, let's just say $100,000, the average sales from other homes in the area that are like yours, they're selling for $150,000. So you have a good estimate on, you have about $50,000 worth of equity in that property. I'm about to drop two serious knowledge bombs on you, so stick around for these two key things. One thing is there's a big misunderstanding am amongst a bunch of military members is you can only use your VA loan once, and why is that? Because it's, that's what we're getting told. Now, that's not that's not true. You have a pool. You have a pool of money that you can pull from from the VA. Meaning, you have a time of this record the recording of this video. You have five hundred thousand dollars worth of of money to pull from. Meaning, if you buy a property for a hundred thousand dollars out of that five hundred thousand dollar pool, you're left with. $400,000. So whenever you go to move out of that property, you don't have to sell it. You can use it as a rental. Now, whenever you go to buy another property, you're going to only have $400,000 to work with rather than the original $500,000 because, you know, you kept this property as a rental. So of course, they're not going to just give you that money back into, into the pool of money. But if you sell that property, then that $100,000 goes right back into this pool and now you have $500,000 to work with. Before we continue on with the second knowledge bomb, hit that like button, turn it blue so the YouTube gods, this they know that this YouTube video is worth watching. Here is another thing a lot of people don't know about the VA loan. Yes, you gotta use a VA loan for a primary residence. 
But guess what's considered a primary residence? One to four doors, meaning you can buy a single family house, literally one door, one front door, or you can buy four doors, which is a little small apartment complex, right? And why is that? Again, that's that's what is um, deemed a primary residence. So you can buy this. That is powerful. Now, if you can't see why it's so powerful, listen to this really quick. You live in one unit. You rent out the other three. Those rents that you're renting out in the, the other three units, they're paying for your living, meaning they're paying off your mortgage. And most of the times when you're renting out the three units, you get a little cash extra. Now, you know, you might be thinking, well, I don't want to be buying a four unit apart little small apartment complex uh, to only be making a hundred to two hundred dollars a month. No. Think about this. Say your mortgage on this big fourplex, fourplex meaning meaning four doors, is two thousand dollars a month. That's what your mortgage is. You're renting them out for seven hundred dollars each. Now, times that by three, it's twenty one hundred dollars. Basically, you're getting to keep $100, and then you got to take out for repairs, you know, all that crap. Anyways, now after a year, like we talked about, you can move out of that property, rent out that one unit. Now you're making $800 a month without taking, you know, repairs and maintenance and all this other different types of stuff. You're basically making $800 a month. And how much did you put down for that? Nothing. Because a VA loan, you put down 0%. And guess what? When you're living in the one one of the units, you're living for free. You don't have to pay rent. You don't have to pay, you know, you have to pay a mortgage, but it's getting paid for you by the tenants. And again, that's none of your own money, and that's powerful. You put down nothing to get in this property and you're making $100 and then $100 a month and then whenever you move out, you're making $800 a month. That's crazy. Let's play on some numbers really quick to just kind of drill home how powerful this really is. Say you signed up for a minimum contract with the military, a four year contract. And say each year you're moving from property to property and each four units apartment complex is $125,000. Meaning you're going to be able to spend that entire pool of money of 500K in those four years. But think about this, you might be thinking, oh my gosh, $500,000 in debt. Think about this, that, that's good debt, fair warning, most of the time, you're not going to be able to find a fourplex for $125,000. It really depends on where you live, but in most cases, you're not going to find that cheap. But let's play on some numbers. Let's just use this as an example. Let's say for those four years, you move around every single year and you buy a fourplex each year. Four years times four doors is 16 units. Now, on average, you're going to get $200 per door in cash flow. That's what that's what people like to go for. And this is taking uh, out for repairs, maintenance, property management, all these other things. You're want, you're most likely going to want to get $200 on average per door. Meaning, if you're making $200 every single month off of one door, and that's money in your pocket. You don't have to worry about for repairs, for maintenance, for capex. Capex being capital expenditures, and that means to uh, to pay for roofs, HVACs, all these different types of things. Anyways, two hundred dollars per door times sixteen units. That's thirty two hundred dollars a month straight into your pocket that you spent no money into the deal. And for those four years, you were living for free. So most likely. If you weren't blowing, blowing your money on a Ferrari, you know, or silly crap, you have a really good nest egg and you have a monthly reincurring income. You can retire off of that. In some areas, if you're making $3,200 a month, you're, you're pretty well off. I know for me, where I used to live on the border of Oklahoma and Arkansas, it was super cheap to live, meaning $500, $600 a month for a one, one bed, one bath apartment. <laughs> That's a sixth of your income. You can live very comfortably in certain areas of the country with just $3,200 a month. I really wanted to drill that home for you because that is huge. So even if you aren't in the military, just this alone might even be worth joining the military, getting a safe job like a personnelist, right? Where that you're just kind of pushing papers around all the time or working in IT like I am, where you're just sitting at a desk all the time and you know in four years if you can do this every year for four years you're going to be able to retire and if you did it right straight out of high school you're gonna be retiring at what 
22 nuts that's crazy again if you want to know exactly what rents are going to go for in your area whether it be uh, this little four unit apartment complex you're wanting to buy or a single family home click on the link down below for rentamere.com honestly it's the most accurate website that i know of to date that will provide you accurate rents for the area and what you can expect to get for rent if you want to know more about the va loan i did go in depth in a previous video so it's going to be popping up over here or over here <laughs> i don't remember which way it is i think it's over here but i go in depth on what a va loan is so go check out that video until next video guys i'm out see it